Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David, I'm the host. Today we're going to talk about The Rise of Skywalker, the final trailer. Let's go. I'm not really interested in your opinion, 3PO. All right, Rise of Skywalker, final trailer. Uh, some people are saying it's not the final trailer for Star Wars. It's There's going to be more Star Wars films. Of course there are. We We know that. It's, it's not the final trailer for all Star Wars films all time. It's the final trailer for the saga. Final trailer for the nine episode story that we've been with since the very beginning. Now, I've been with the franchise since the very beginning. I want you to know that if you uh, are new to my channel, you haven't watched me before. Uh, I have been with the franchise since the very beginning, since the first time I ever saw the advertisement for the first movie on television. I'm that old. And uh, I, I, I don't hate anything, okay? I'm not a hater, this is not a hate channel. I don't hate on any of the directors, the stories, or the movies, or the plots, or the actors. I, I love Star Wars, I love the entire thing. It's the extent of which I go for Star Wars is unmatched. So I love the franchise. You're never gonna hear me bag on or rag on anything uh, Star Wars related ever. That said, the new trailer dropped last night during Monday Night Football. And uh, surprisingly, I don't have Monday Night Football in my programming so when I came home to start watching I don't I'm not a football person so I didn't even realize I don't even have that channel so I had to sit there and refresh a uh, computer screen all night long uh, we all thought it was gonna happen on the hour and it ended up happening like 45 minutes after the hour ish and I waited and I didn't I didn't I wasn't planning on waiting something happened I just came home and I just started I just started getting into it more than I thought I was going to and I started looking forward to it more than I thought I was going to. Like I just, something happened to me, I don't know what it was, and I just felt like, oh no, this is, I gotta be there for this. I gotta be there for the end of it all. So I've had a chance to watch the trailer a couple times, okay, a couple times through. Uh, grab some screenshots, I'm gonna show you. And we're just gonna walk through my thoughts, things I observed, things I'm thinking about, and just kind of give you my input as a long time running fan. All right, let's go. And let me just say right off the top of the bat, I loved this trailer. I did. I really liked this trailer a lot. And I, the things I liked about it were, uh, one, they didn't do a bunch of new spoilers like the first trailer did with like Dark Ray and maybe some of the new characters and Lando. Uh, they didn't do anything like that in this one. They didn't show us things that we didn't already know or speculate from either previous footage that's been released or the action figures that have already come out. Like, they didn't show us anything. We're like, oh, Han Solo's back from the dead, right? They didn't do anything. Like, oh, Ben Kenobi's ghost. Like, we didn't see any of that kind of stuff, which was great. And I'm glad they left that kind of stuff out. The other thing I liked and appreciated was this wasn't just a rehash of the first teaser trailer. Like, they didn't just make the first teaser trailer longer. This was all new footage in a very story arc kind of way that was all very well edited, very well crafted to kind of tug at your emotions. Uh, but yeah, I really, really did enjoy it. But the thing I think we were introduced to were the three different uh, planets or the three different environments. We have the sand environment, the forest environment, and the water environment. I'll talk more about those later. And I think the other thing we were introduced to was all the narration. The trailer had this narration that starts with Finn and kind of ends with Princess Leia, and it goes through the entire trailer my thoughts my personal opinion is none of that text none of that dialogue is in the film that's what i that's what i think that's what i believe i think that that was scripted for the commercial and none of that text is in the film i think there's one little piece of dialogue from the entire film that's actually in the trailer i think the rest of it was just scripted for for the trailer so the opening shots uh show ray running through a forest environment and it looks like this is her training she runs by and she hits like a laser bolt and then she's kind of running through a you know the the grasslands the same way luke ran through the swamps of dagobah so i think it's tugging at that kind of uh emotion for you you're, you're seeing this image from return of the jedi where the jedi trains before the final battle then that scene cuts to her jumping through the wreckage of the Death Star. They, they, they tie it together really great through editing, but it's clearly uh, showing you something from maybe the beginning middle of the film to the end of the film. The next big scene is Finn using binoculars, and I think that's supposed to make you think of Luke 
using his binoculars on Tatooine. And then we have the big war room scene. This is the whole get ready, you know, and wherever we see the pilots gather around the princess and we see the battle plans and this is the, you know, the plans to attack, the final battle. I think this scene would be more closer to the end of the film. Then we get some hero shots. So we get a hero shot of Rose to let everybody know that, you know, Rose is back in the film. Then we have this beautiful hero shot of Finn, Poe, and Chewie, like all the guys. Uh, we get this great shot of the blockade runner going over the, the forest. And then we cut to the two people that we're the most interested in, Rey, with her final battle with Kylo, and then uh, Kylo coming up out of the water, the mist. This is, you know, every every last film has a lightsaber battle between the, the hero and the villain. And I think in this film, we are going to be unsure who is who. Then we have this mysterious new location, this ice planet, which, you know, could very well be the water planet uh, with the TIE fighters zooming in. You got this beautiful shot of a Star Destroyer rising out of water. And then you have this final battle armada shot with a, just a pile of spaceships, like every spaceship, right? And this is, this is the shot where people think that they see the ghost over in the corner. Like this literally looks like you had your box of micro machines, uh, you know, of all your spaceships and you just dumped it out of the floor and said, let's play with everything. Like this is, I mean, I wouldn't be, is Dash Rendar's ship in there somewhere too? Like literally, are we going to see every single ship? from every single everything <laughs> in this shot. I mean, this also feels like Return of the Jedi with the big, you know, Millennium Falcon r zooming through the onslaught of TIE fighters. It has that same kind of feel. Then we get a hero shot of everyone in the cockpit. And I think this is really the final shot of the film. I think this is the end shot. I mean, Rey is smiling. It's clearly everyone's coming in to the room for a hero pose. And this is probably where the, you know, the whole movie will fade to black and the credits will roll. We get another great shot of Rey and Kylo in their battle. I don't know, do we, are we expecting one of them to die in the film? Like, are we expecting the villain, whoever it is, to, to, to be killed in this battle? I kind of feel like they're both gonna live. I don't know why. I don't, I don't feel like one of them's gonna die. Then we see the water planet again with a new ship. It's kind of like a speeder, but for water. You know, we've seen speeders on sand and snow. Now we're seeing a speeder that moves over the water. Then we see the one shot that I think is the longest and has the only true dialogue. It's the scene with 3PO and Babu Frick, who's, you know, reprogramming him or downloading something from him to turn him over to the red-eyed C-3PO. The next shot, we get to see Sori Bliss, uh, played by Carrie Russell over in the far left. And then uh, 3PO says this line of dialogue, which I believe, you know, this is from the film. He says that I'm, I'm taking one last look at my friends. And I think that is 3PO speaking for us in the film. He's speaking for the fans. You know, this is one last look at our friends. And I think, you know, when we see the actors at conventions and at cons, this is something that uh, many of us say to the actors. Like, you were my friends growing up. You were my only friends growing up. Thank you for my childhood. I've heard that line so many times and, and felt that line so many times. So I think in this moment, C-3PO is speaking for all the fans. Then you have this great shot of the heroes running through a very Death Star looking corridor shooting troopers. Then we've got Leia and Rey hugging, which we've, you know, seen this shot uh, several times in teasers and, and footage and who knows, you know, why they're hugging. Is this hug coming after some big revelation? Is she hugging her mother? Hmm? Uh, uh, uh. Then we see BB-8 in some sort of cargo net, very similar shot to uh, seeing R2-D2 in the net that the Ewoks trapped everybody in in Return of the Jedi. And then we're gonna see a skiff zooming over the sand. We saw this in the first teaser. This also very much feels like Return of the Jedi, which makes me feel like this is the first planet, okay? So if we're gonna go through the different planets that we're seeing, sand, forest, and water, I really think they go in that order. If you think of Return of the Jedi, Return of the Jedi started in the sand and ended in the forest. So it started in something that has no life and ended in a planet that has life. So I think in this film, we're gonna see everything start off in the sand. So all the sand footage, I think is from the very beginning of the film. I think that we're gonna to move to Ray's training, which is gonna be in the forest. And we're gonna see that environment. And then everything's gonna to move to water and space, which would be two areas of chaos, okay? And water is often a symbol for chaos in books and film. I think that the water planet and the space battle are gonna be the end. Cause we haven't had a real true space battle, spaceship battle in any of these new films. Not a true, big, huge dogfight. So I think that's uh, what's coming. Then of course we have a great shot of Lando and Chewie together. And then we have another shot of a Y-Wing. Then we have our new character, Janna, uh, which is uh, Naomi Aki. 
She's on some sort of a horse thing. They're galloping across what looks like the top of a Star Destroyer. Uh, and who knows what she's going to be. Is she going to be a love interest for one of the characters? Love interest for Finn or daughter of Lando? Hmm, her, her. Then we've got the Death Star throne room. Clearly the Death Star throne room uh, for our setup for the Emperor. We have Finn on the same water bridge that we see Rey and Kylo fighting on. Possibly coming out to greet the winner of the fight? I don't know. Then we see Kylo and Rey joining forces together and defeating some sort of stone statue with their lightsabers. Could this have been a statue of Darth Vader? Possibly? Hmm? Could be. Them destroying their past? Each of them? Uh, we get a little teaser of Rey meeting the Emperor. And then we end on a last shot of Rey. And I think this is, this is crucial because we hear the Force will be with you from Luke. And then we hear the word always from Leia. And really what you have here in this final narration is the, the voices of two Skywalkers, Luke and Leia, the twins, the children of Anakin Skywalker. And so I think the triangle would then point to the fact that, again, I believe that Rey is the reincarnation of the Chosen One, the one that will bring balance to the Force. Rey is Anakin. And you're seeing her face with two voices speaking, two Skywalkers speaking. So it would make you think of this triangle of her also being the Skywalker, the rise of Skywalker. So whether that means she is the reincarnation of Anakin or she is the daughter of either Luke or Leia, right? She has to be the daughter of one of those two. And I think there's that little one piece of dialogue where Rey says in the trailer, you know, everybody thinks they know me, but they don't. And so I think that's a throw out to the fans who all have their speculations about who Rey is. And then we're going to learn that all of those speculations are wrong, which is fine with me because there hasn't been anybody's fan theories that I've totally grabbed onto and said, yes, I love that fan theory. So I'm not invested in any fan theory and, you know, crossing my fingers that it's going to be that. I, I would love it if the film would surprise me and give me a twist that nobody's thought of yet. That would be great. But... Right now, I'm kind of hedging my bet towards she's either the reincarnation of Anakin or she's got to be either Luke's daughter or Leia's daughter, right? Which would also be fine because the saga begins with a uh, father-son, uh, male-mentor, male-student relationship, and then the whole saga ends with uh, a female, right? It ends with a mother-daughter relationship. So. Definitely could see those bookends happening. Definitely could see the story going either way. All right, so those are my personal closing thoughts for the final trailer, Rise of Skywalker. What did you think? What were your emotions while you watched the uh, final trailer? What were some of your thoughts? What are your fan theories? Or what are the theories that you hear going on out there in cyberspace that you agree with or don't agree with? Leave those comments in the section below. And maybe the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.